Nature often surprises us with both its beauty and brutality. But we still weren't prepared for the photos released this week of a python in Australia swallowing an entire wallaby. In Australia, snakes sometimes slither into suburban backyards and homes. When the weather gets warm, they lounge in the sun. When it gets hot, they seek cool places. A wall crevice under a refrigerator, under a barbecue grill, behind an air conditioning unit. Once an animal is in a python's stomach, its digestive system kicks into hyperdrive, involving a sharp increase in the metabolic rate, with the organs enlarging by three to four times in the release of enzymes to break down the food. When it gets too hot and dry, they seek places with moisture, as some Australians are quickly learning. Snakes are scary bastards. When we tend to see them, some character at a zoo who has an odd aptitude for reptiles is parading around them. They'll generally be placing them on a kid's shoulders and being way too protective over the scaling beast. And for that, we're pretty lucky, because elsewhere, serpents run wild, gobbling up anything in their path, including wallabies. You probably don't need any guesses as to where a wallaby being devoured by a python occurred, as it's obviously Australia. Disturbing footage shows a huge python strangling and swallowing a whole wallaby. Bernie Worstford came across the reptile feeding in an Australian town in Corunda in far north Queensland and took his camera out to photograph it, slowly swallowing the defenseless marsupial, Seven News reported. The images were captured by North Queensland resident Bernie Worstford, who stumbled upon the scene mid-meal and tried unsuccessfully to rescue the joey from its mom's pouch. Despite barely being able to wrap its head around the wallaby, the python somehow managed to devour the entire marsupial whole. Henry Cabesque, curator of the reptiles at the Pittsburgh Zoo, told Science Alert that the images show a scrub python, which is one of the six largest snakes in the world. Forest Fold estimated that this specimen was around four meters long, but there are reports of them growing up to an impressive six to seven meters, which is 20 to 23 feet. A three meter scrub python has made a meal out of a wallaby in far north Queensland on New Year's Day. The second such event recorded in the area in recent weeks. Brittany Worsfold came across the python mid-feed about 5 p.m. on Sunday while attending to the horses on the Karanda property where he lives. He said he'd lived in the area for 20 years, and the sight of a python swallowing a wallaby was nothing new. But he said yesterday's catch, including the wallaby and its joey, was the biggest he'd ever seen. It was right in the middle of the paddock. There it was, rolling around, this huge wallaby and python, Mr. Worsfold said. I was amazed by the size of this python's head. He swallowed that wallaby in three hours. Their usual diet is made up of birds, rats, possums, and other small mammals, and it's not unheard of for them to prey on wallabies. In fact, another python was spotted doing the same thing on a golf course a few weeks ago. But usually they choose wallabies that are juveniles or small individuals. This wallaby and her joey were a particularly large meal. I got fascinated by it because I've seen bigger snakes, but this one? His head was the size of your hand. And when he opened up his mouth, his jaw was the size of the wallaby. Forceful told the Brisbane Times it was the most fascinating thing to see the muscle in his body suck the wallaby in as the other part of his body was squeezing the meal. According to Worsfold, the entire meal took several hours to swallow before the snake slinked off into the brush. So how is that possible? Well, contrary to popular belief, the reptiles don't actually dislocate their jaws. Instead, they're attached with very elastic ligaments. One of the enduring myths about snake feeding mechanisms is the idea that the jaws detach. Biology professor Patrick T. Gregory from the University of Victoria in Canada told Life Science back in 2012 that, in fact, they stay connected all the time. The two mandibles are not joined at the front by a rigid cepheus or others, but by an elastic ligament that allows them to spread apart. So, after first suffocating its prey, the python is able to stretch its mouth around it and then gradually shuffle its way forward till it engulfs the whole thing. Once the meal is in the python's stomach, the digestive system goes into overdrive. 
This system shuts down between meals, but after prey has been swallowed, the snake's metabolism goes crazy, and organs are enlarged three to four times their normal size as they release enzymes to break down food. That means that over the next few days and weeks, while the python digests its dinner, it'll puff up even larger in size before the wallaby is finally digested. During this time, the snake will be pretty much immobilized, so it'll stay out of sight from potential predators. The Australian scrub python is somewhat rare in the pet trade outside of Australia. However, with captive breeding projects and hobbyists interested in the species, it's slowly becoming more available, with its New Guinea counterparts being much more available, especially in the United States. The snake is commonly considered arboreal, or tree-dwelling, making it one of the world's largest and longest arboreal species of snakes. This snake has an ornate back pattern consisting of browns and tans with many different natural variations. Its belly is usually white, sometimes with some yellows. Sadly, the wallaby was carrying a joey, which Worsfold tried to save, but he arrived a few seconds too late. While snakes eat wallabies, it seems to be the norm in far north Queensland. A snake eating another snake is a rare sighting, but it's just what snake catchers Sally and Norman Hill happened to see when they were called to a job on Monday afternoon. By the time we got there, the snake was still hitting the carpet python. We'd never seen this before ourselves, Miss Hill said. We hung around for a couple of hours. When you see a snake eating an animal, it's interesting. The snake doing the eating was an eastern brown, a highly venomous species that normally eats birds and frogs. Miss Hill runs NNS Snake Catcher IPS Brisbane and Logan with her husband. It's actually quite straightforward. We just opened the bag up and he went in there, she said. It took more than three hours for the snake to eat its lengthy prey, but Miss Hill said it was easier on the snake to relocate it once it had finished its meal. It's really hard because sometimes when we do travel, they can regurgitate their meal. So we waited and waited and then relocated it, she said. It didn't spew it up, which was good. While most scrub pythons will eat birds, rats, possums, and other small mammals, large ones, they can grow to seven meters and are known to eat occasional wallaby. Just last month, another scrub python was eating a smaller wallaby in the middle of a golf course fairway in Cairns. It took the python quite a while to finish eating the wallaby joey before it slumped back into the bush. In another New Year's snake incident, a wild green tree snake at Australia's zoo bit a woman on Monday, though it didn't attempt to eat her, and the snake is non-venomous. The woman was taken to the hospital as a precaution. Luke Huntley, a snake catcher in Queensland, had to remove snakes from people's bathrooms as the country experiences a record-setting heat wave. Last week, he removed a seven-foot python that had slithered into an open door and climbed into the shower, not only to escape the heat, but also to find water. Days earlier, he pulled a small tree snake that had coiled in another homeowner's toilet bowl. Most species in this family are available in the exotic pet trade. However, caution must be exercised with the larger species, as they can be dangerous. Rare cases of large specimens killing their owners have been documented. It's probably not worth picking a fight with a snake on this form, 